Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out Keyword Revealer. Don't you just guys, don't you guys just hate buying something and find out that it's not for you or because you didn't see actually the tool working? So what I'm going to do right now is have the tool working to show you guys that it's a good deal or a bad deal. It just depends on you. So this is Keyword Revealer. Now it's in a lifetime deal. So this is the reason I'm making the video because I want you guys to take advantage of this promotion that they have right now which is this right here. You can get it from $39 for one time fee. $39 is the consultant version. We got the marketer version for 69 and agency for 199. So in, in my point of view, if you guys have one or two sites, consultant would, would be fine for you. If you guys have multiple sites, marketing would be the best. And if you have a whole bunch of sites and you need to do constant searching, then agency would be the one for you. So this is what's included. It's gonna be also in the description if you guys are interested, also the link. So if you guys like consulting, you just hit this and sign up. That's how you do it. All right, so let's head on over to the dashboard because like I said, this is about seeing the tool actually working and what you're gonna expect when you open it. So this is my main dashboard and you can see what my, my account includes. I have the marketer version of the lifetime deal. And for starters, you got my account right here, which is email, default search in, engine, and default search language. So for example, I'm in Mexico. I don't wanna start searching every single time and switching the country. So I can put my default search in right here, or city, or uh, state, or how do you say that? Uh, other places, they got Providence. And also default language, you got this right here. So for example, if I wanted to switch the country, I just search for it, you can see there's all of these, all of these countries right here. But for example, if I wanna search something locally, search that, it has locally for, for me. So that's how you do your, your default search engines. All right, so first thing is we have this keyword search here on the left, which is the main tool that you're gonna have included in this. So you can see right here, it's already default, my country and my language, and I can do a search. So for example, I wanna search um, SaaS, which is software as a service. Now it's gonna take a little bit so it starts searching, and there we go, we have these results. Now I just wanna say this clear as possible as I can. The tool is just gonna be as good as the energy that you focus to it and the capacity that you use the information for. So like the, the information is gonna be there, it's just gonna depend what you do with it. So this is like, it's SEO. So it's gotta, you could hard work, start searching, analyzing, and apply it. There's no point on watching this and not doing something with it. So right here we got, you can see, Keywords that have to do with this, SaaS, PaaS, SaaS platform, SaaS cloud, SaaS apps, and it just gives me how much the cost per click is on these if I were to do an ad, word, an ad Google Ads uh, ad. So you can see this right here, cost per click would be $135. And they have like a, a profit that people make when they make this click, so it's like an average. And what you see is the volume, monthly volume searches. This is my country and my language. So I can switch this up to United States, which will be something. Here we go, United States country. And I'm gonna switch the language to English. Search. And it's gonna switch this to another country. Let's wait for it to load. There we go. Now there's more searches because this is more of a English search term than in Spanish. All right, so here we go, platform as a service. It changed also the, the keywords that it gives you, keyword ideas. So like I said, it shows you the cost per click to be in number one. This is gonna depend how much you invest in this. So what can you do with this? So for example, we can apply a filter. Let's just say I want a keyword filter or average monthly. Why is this important? For example, there's companies like my company that I don't have a lot to invest. So I want to look for keywords that don't cost as much. So I'm looking for, let's see, average monthly searches. So I want to be at minimum, let's just say 200 searches, okay? But to make this appear, I got to go to volume right here. So now I'm searching minimum volume searches per month. You can see this right here. I put 200. So if I wanna go to 500 minimum volume searches, I'm gonna get this. So what I'm looking for right here is a lower cost per click. Now these are really high cost per click on this type of search. 
But for example, if I were looking for the cheapest and if it works, I would use it. So for example, service NSW doesn't work for me, but this is just an example. If this worked for me, so I'm like, okay, two, 590 searches. I'm gonna try to grab that kind of audience in my ad so it doesn't cost me as much. Uh, maybe I can't search, uh, maybe I can't pay for SaaS, but I can pay for service NSW, an example, no? For, all right, for, so, and also here, top SaaS companies. This is lower, 599. So maybe I wanna hit those search terms instead of going for the top search terms because I don't have that much money or I wanna lower my Google Ads costs so I can have more uh, people that I can pull. And it's just gonna depend how you use this filter to make it work for you. We can go other way around. See how I eliminate it now? And now I got lower search terms. But let's go to the top search terms and you can see there's 2.200 million. So I wanna search the maximum. 100,000 and this is what I get. So it just depends if you wanna search for cost per click, number of words, and just all that good stuff that's gonna work for you depending on how you use this information. All right, so for example, you know what? I like SaaS and I wanna use SaaS and I'm getting a, an, an idea of how much the cost per click is gonna cost me. Let's go to evaluate. Now we're gonna get more information out of this. Let's wait for it to load. And like I said, this information is what you do with it. It's gonna be how important this tool will work or how much you are going to save. Okay, so now it opened this search term. I can add more right here. I can go back and add more. But you can see very high competition. So if I wanted to make a Google Ads and use this keyword, it's gonna be a 51% high. So it's high, uh, high as a competition rate. So I'm gonna be competing with a lot of people. So like I said, if you want to save, if you don't want to go too, too hard, you could go for something like a 30% high competition. And you can see how many searches they've done. Keyword search, search trends, go social presence, how many times has this word been used in socials, uh, domain strength. So for example, domains that you are competing with to use this keyword. So for example, hey, you know what? I want to do my organic, uh, I want my site to rank organically. So if you wanted to do that with this keyword, you'd have to rank, it's pretty hard because most of these guys are Moss 50, 89, 98, 90, so it's gonna be really hard to rank in that. And it's gonna tell you how good their optimization is, their, their SEO on these top 10 URLs. So like I said, these guys are tough. It's, it's a search term where people have a lot of knowledge, so this is gonna be hard. We'll do another one really quick. And these, are, these, these guys are the ones who are ranking top in this search term in this country and that. So for example, I'm gonna search for something less, less example, uh, carpenter. Okay, search. There we go, carpenter. You can see it's, it's much, much lower cost per click. Check this out. Why? Because let's just say carpenters are not, uh, so good at SEO or don't pay as much for SEO. So it's much easier to rank in this. Let's evaluate this keyword so you guys can see the big difference that it has with um, depending what you want. So for example, if I were searching SEO as a keyword, imagine uh, people who do SEO su are supposed to be good at SEO. All right, so there's a 50% competition on this keyword because it's a main keyword. I mean, carpenter is a big word. I mean, it's, it's a big search term. You can see this right here. They're lowering their moss, less ranking, difficulty 50. Their on-page SEO for these two, these 10 are not high. And these are the guys who are ranking top 10. There we go. And you can see a little bit more of them, you know, page audit, domain auth, external links, their moss rank and all that. So it's much easier to rank. So it just depends what keyword you use. All right, this is one of the tools that you get. And if you have the version, you can see this, you can say save 10 keywords. If you have the consultant plan, you have this save searches. These are the searches I have saved and I can just go back and check what information has updated. And you can see my today's search terms, have that there. Next thing we have is rank tracker. This is left on the left right here. So this is a pretty basic tool. It's, it's basic, but really helpful for you guys. And it's pretty straightforward. So all you gotta do is add your domain, let me show you. 
that you're gonna name this uh, campaign your keywords one per line that you want to see how you're ranking so for example if I want to check out my marketing agency I want to see marketing agency marketing agency in my city uh, let's just say a whole bunch of search terms I'm not, I, don't, I don't have them right now in mind and add your domain module Google the country or the city or the state and the language that you want to check it for and that's how it's gonna rank so it's gonna start every single day it's gonna show how you rank in each one of those keywords so for example you know what I'm ranking on top um, 10 on the 10th page of Google and on this keyword I'm ranking on second page so I'm gonna go to my website do some SEO work more content more information more backlinks just a whole bunch of stuff and I'm, then I'm gonna start seeing how these results work in the future so by time you're gonna be seeing a graph where it shows you how that keyword has been getting better or worse so that helps you make better content or keep doing what you're doing so that's just information that you're gonna use like I said the SEO is just gonna be as good as the energy you apply to it and the constant work that you do next thing we have is keyword brainstorming I, now I like this one because I'm gonna show you I'm gonna do one big one right here okay let's go and search in United States United States and English and I'm gonna search for marketing remember this is for brainstorming we're gonna check how this is how we're gonna brainstorm with this it's gonna give me more keywords and you can see the flow how it's gonna look it's gonna be pretty interesting for you guys if you take advantage of this tool okay so this is like the the branch how it branches out you can see main keyword marketing shows me cost per click average monthly searches 74,000 and it gives me all these uh, keywords that we can use so for example the brainstorm is about checking what you can do or where you can go from there so for example let's just say marketing jobs has nothing to do with what I want uh, marketing mix either marketing manager also no marketing plan marketing plan it could be marketing manager no selling template marketing plan all right so what happens I click on this yellow dot and it gives me more keywords going through marketing plan and it like I said it's gonna give you average monthly searches and cost per click and this is gonna see if I want one of these or not and I can go from there and branch out again until it turns uh, blue so let's just say marketing plan template steps words summary it just depends let's, let's use this one and it branches out again so once it turns blue that's as much as it's gonna branch and just say if, if you want something from there so for example let's just say I want this keyword I click on it and it says are you sure you want to research marketing plan template do I want to search this keyword to see what it's gonna give me and it's just gonna do the searching where we did it at the first start you can also save you can download you can export and just all that stuff that you can do with this tool well, all right guys I hope this overview of keyword revealer shows you the capacity of what you can do with it now it's just gonna depend if it's worth for you paying this amount for a lifetime so if you're gonna start using this or you have plans of using this uh, this tool then it's a good it's a good thing to buy to to have so if you guys want to buy it the link is gonna be in the description it's an affiliate link if you guys want to buy it now this is the tool it just depends on you if you want to buy it or not if it's worth it or not hit me up in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for this type of tools thanks for watching guys my name is George and this is SaaS Master